leo tuanze discussion ya ama another group of organic compounds kama vitu discuss katika vipindi vile vipita kuhusu cyanide and isocyanide in today's session we're going to continue with amines kama group ya organic compound so amine they are organic derivatives of ammonia in which one or more hydrogen atom is replaced by alkyl or allyl group so from the structure of ammonia which we know uh, it is nh3 so one of the hydrogen is represented uh, is replaced by allyl or alkyl group so we may have r nh2 or we may have uh, the allyl group such as benzene ring and then nh2 this is a minor group this is a minor group and the compounds they are known as amines amines unaona katika biology tunasoma compounds ambazo huwa zinakuwa zina amino group pamoja na carboxylic group zinaitwa amino acids lakini hizi zenye amino group only alkyl group with amino group or allyl group with amino group they are known as amines ndizo ambazo tutakuwa tuna discuss katika hii part so we have two categories of amines based on this we have the aliphatic and aromatic the aliphatic uh, aliphatic amines having the alkyl group and the aromatic amines having the allyl group aliphatic and aromatic the aliphatic amines are presented by the general formula cnh2n plus 3 then nitrogen where n is the number of carbon atoms so this is the categorization the general categorization of amines into aliphatic and aromatic but in classifying amines we are classifying them as how we classified alcohols and even carboxylic acids into the primary the secondary and the tertiary primary uh, amine ni zile amine ambazo zinakuwa zina zina only one alkyl group attached on the carbon ambayo iko na functional group these are amine molecule in which one of the hydrogen atom from ammonia is replaced by alkyl group so uh, how they appear is like this way let's see them here so unaweza um, kaona ammonia is replaced by alkyl group so it akwa rnh2 au allyl group nh2 the functional a group of primary amine is nh2 example is up non all of the their primary amine the secondary amine two hydrogen they are replaced by alkyl group these are the amine molecules compounds of which two hydrogen atoms from ammonia they are replaced by alkyl or allyl groups such that r um, double uh, single bond and then hydrogen r again r so the functional group of secondary amine is, is n then h no no example is a compound tuna uh, ali, ali, uh, i mean a methyl methyl tuna amine pa tuna ethyl methyl then tuna benzene phenyl tuna methyl kule then toka hapo tuna tertiary amine ambao all of the three hydrogen they are replaced by alkyl or allyl groups no no so it is r then nitrogen r r ten or allyl group nitrogen so Uh, the tertiary amine of the functional group which is nitrogen bonded to three carbon atom example is uh, this is methyl 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 or ethyl methyl phenyl 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 is also to zinakwani examples of the tertiary amine in which all of the hydrogen atoms they are replaced by uh, alkyl or allyl groups so in tertiary and secondary amines if all the alkyl or allyl groups are identical then these are known as simple amine where if the groups are different then the amines they are termed mixed amine so konvano we have a dimethyl amine methyl methyl dimethyl amine it is simple amine but if we meet with this it is n methyl n methyl n phenyl amine n methyl phenyl amine unaona unaweza kaita any methyl phenyl amine au any methyl any phenyl amine unaona hii hapa ni mixed amine mixed amine 
Katika nomenclature za amine ni kutaja jina la alkane then naongeza jina amine mushon. Amine are still named using the old system of IUPAC. The alkyl or aryl group bonded to the end are named first followed by the word amine. The pref pre suffix n is used if necessary to show that a substituent is to nitrogen atom. If other substituent groups are present attaching to the aryl or alkyl group, their position are named using the number of carbon atoms to which they are attached. For example, this is simply a methyl amine. Unaona, this is the ethyl amine. This is n, n dimethyl amine. This is um, moja mbili tatu. Hii ni isopropyl amine. Kwa sababu amine mbili attached kwenye the carbon. It is isopropyl isopropyl amine lakini kuja kwa mfano kwenye huyu hapa it's n, n, n ini ethyl ini methyl kwa itanza n, n ethyl then n i mean n ethyl n, n dimethyl amine au n, n di, dimethyl ethyl amine unaona kwa unaweza uka, uka, uka sema ethyl amine kama group huyu n, n akawa ni attached au unaweza uka name wote kama ni attached unaona Tukija kwenye huyu hapa unamuona huyu ni isopropyl so it is huyu ni ethyl huyu ni methyl ni any ethyl eh any methyl then any isopropyl amine isopropyl ni aka group kana ito isopropyl so itakuwa any 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 ethyl any methyl any isopropyl amine unaona au mwingine angeweza kusema any comma any comma any ethyl methyl isopropyl amine Uyo hapa ni finaili amine au jina dingine ito aniline Very easy Toka hapo tuna e, Methyl aniline Amba inakuwa ni methyl yule pale Tuna eni koma eni dimethyl aniline Eni koma eni dimethyl aniline Then tuna Eni methyl halafu 4 methyl aniline Malake hii tume, tume name kwenye benzili Yeah, hizo zikuwa tu ni just examples. Compound mwingine huyu hapa hapa tuna CH2, CH2. Hapa tuna CH2, CH3. Pale tuna benzene ring. Namna ile pale. Yeah, nitrogen. Then tuna CH2, CH3. So huyu jina yake atakuwa ni eh huyu ni ethyl huyu ni uni proper so itakuwa ni ni any any ethyl then phi phenyl pro any any ethyl then any phenyl alafu any propyl amine au mwingine anaweza kusema ni any ethyl any propyl phenyl alanine unaona i mean phenyl amine Finali amine ambao jina jingine ndio inaitwa alanine. So we can move to the laboratory preparation of amine. Let's see how we can prepare amine in the laboratory through different methods. Kwa hiyo hapa naenda kuangalia jinsi ya kuprepare amine katika maabara. Moja alkylation of ammonia with haloalkane. Alkylation of ammonia with haloalkane. Halo alkane when heated with an excess of alcoholic ammonia alcoholic ammonia under presence in a sealed tube give amine Halo alkane eh uh, huya pa acquired with alcoholic ammonia excess excess alcoholic ammonia excess in the presence of pressure uh, pressure au uh, heat ile pale tunakuja kupata primary amine unaona primary amine so, so from there unachokuja kuona ni kwamba examples they here alcohol key ammonia then the halol can in pressure and heat when a large excess of alkyl halide is used a, a quaternary amine salt is formed when a large alkyl halide is used that means a concentration of alkyl halide ikiwa ni excess tunapata quaternary amine ambayo kwa mfano ni tetramethyl methyl ammonium chloride 
hiyo ni sort sasa unaona mm, this method is not suitable for the preparation of early amine because alol halo arins or early halide do not show any reactivity to the nucleophilic substitution reaction so they do not show any reactivity towards nucleophilic substitution reaction however chloroalins can be converted to corresponding amine by the action of ammonia at 475 degrees celsius and a high pressure and high pressure and 60 atm high pressure 60 atm yep in bracket in the presence of copper 1 oxide so in the presence of copper 1 oxide tukiwa tuna copper 1 oxide then tukishakuwa tuna ile copper 1 oxide tukawa tuna ammonia tukawa tuna 175 na pressure ile pale the chloroarene they can be converted into the phenyl amine unaona kwa hiyo haziwezi kufanya reaction kama ya kule mwanzoni lakini zitafanya reaction ya namna kama hiyo hapo zitafanya reaction kama hiyo hapo lakini pia e, preparation nyingine hapa hapa tunaweza kutumia e, alcohol tunaweza kutumia alcohol in liquid ammonia we can also use alcohol in liquid ammonia under high pressure then you get the amine you get the primary amine that was the reaction of alkane with ammonia at high pressure at temperature pressure the second is reduction of nitroalkane or nitroarenes the reduction of nitroalkane or nitroarenes nitroalkane can be reduced by catalytic hydrogenation by lithium aluminum tetrahydride to form primary amine so nitro the nitro group huwa inaonekana kama hivi NO2 so we can reduce this group and then we get primary amine aromatic uh, nit uh, aromatic nitro compounds can be reduced to aromatic amine by using tin or iron and the concentrated nucleic acid so the conditions or the reagents of the reaction they differ however that is the same reaction but the condition of the reaction they differ uh, in aromatic and aliphatic then from there to a reduction of alkyl and allyl nitrates reduction of alkyl and allyl nitrates the nitrates can be reduced by catalytic hydrogenation a, a catalytic hydrogen uh, hydrogen sodium and uh, ethanol or lithium aluminum tetrahydride to form primary amine so um, alkyl or allyl nitrates nitrate they can be reduced kwenda kwenye nitrate they can be reduced kwenda kwenye primary amines using the reducing agents such as hydrogen in the presence of nickel catalyst sodium in the presence of ethanol or lithium aluminum tetrahydride so we have the examples here unaweza kuona ya sodium in the presence of ethanol tuna convert hizo allyl allyl or alkyl nitrates as how we discussed it in the previous session regarding the Uh, regarding the cyanides and the isocyanides that is the third uh, category of reaction which we can use in the battle to prepare uh, amines and uh, we have the examples of the reaction another reaction is a reduction of amide if you remember in a few previous sessions we discussed about amide and we said the amide it is formed from the reaction of carboxylic acid with the Uh, with ammonia in certain conditions so reduction of amide uh, when amide they are treated with reducing agent like lithium aluminum a tetrahydride amine they are produced and more especially here they are primary amine so here there are several examples of the reaction showing this lithium aluminum tetrahydride in the presence of ether or sodium in the presence of ethanol From there one among the important reaction in amine is the Hoffmann degradation reaction the Hoffmann degradation reaction um Hoffmann degradation reaction this involves the treatment of primary amine with bromine liquid and a strong alkaline solution 
a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius to produce primary amine with the less number of carbon atoms. So, kirichopo ni kwamba tunakuwa tuna tunakuwa tuna tunakuwa tuna so kuliko tuko na simu inaita hapa tutaendelea na Hoffman degradation all this involves the treatment of primary amine with the bromine liquid and a strong alkaline solution so potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide can be used in temperature sabin to produce primary amine with less number of carbon atoms inaitwa Hoffman degradation it's because it involves the reduction in the number of carbon atom no no reduction in the number of carbon atom um, you can see uh, different examples here actually it's not the involved the treatment of primary amine with it's not primary amine this involves the treatment of amide we are treating amide not amine amide treatment of amide with uh, to produce primary amine no, no. Mfano tuone reaction sisi huku zinaonekana vizuri kuliko za kule mwanzoni. So reaction yule pale unaweza kumuona tuna amide hiyo hapa tume tume reaction yule pale hiyo carbon imeondoka tumbakiana yule pale unaona. Kwa hiyo carbon mmoja mwenye oxygen hapa anaondoka anaenda kwenda kutengeneza carbon eti huko. Lakini number 5 Ah uh, hiyo ilikuwa ni Hoffman degradation reaction uh, inayohusisha reduction of amide lakini pia tuna reduction of oxymes oxymes of um, aldehyde or ketone can be reduced to a primary amine by using sodium and ethanol or lithium lithium aluminium tetrahydride in the presence of ether Oxime kama unakumbuka tu uko nasoma aldehyde and ketone tuliosoma compound inaitwa oxime kama huyo hapa watokana reaction of uh, the reaction of uh, aldehyde or ketone with the amine tunapata oxime unaona reduction of oxime again you get you get the amine preparation of secondary amine by reduction of uh, alkyl isocyanide alkyl isocyanide unaona alkyl isocyanide when reduced using hydrogen and the nickel catalyst uh, gives secondary amine at all secondary amine other reducing agents like lithium aluminum tetrahydride or sodium ethanol may be used unaona they may be used kwa nako tuna r and then triple bond carbon tunako tuna bond kama ile pale unaona secondary amine from primary amine uh, when your primary amine is treated with the, a calculated amount of alkane secondary amine is produced So we can also prepare secondary amine from primary amine kwa we treat na a amount flani halokane amount flani halokane so R NH2 then plus R dash X heat na pata wale pale naona toka hapo by reductive reductive ammoniation of carbon compound reductive ammoniation of carbon compound Mm, amine is formed by the reaction between an aldehyde or ketone with the ammonia can be reduced to primary amine by by catalytic hydrogenation this reaction is called the reductive ammoniation kwa reaction na ammonia hapa inakuja kupata huyo hapa ambayo hapa ni eh, oxime huyo hapo oxime huyo hapo reaction na yule pale napata eh, answers kama hizo so this is the last method for the preparation of food amine in the laboratory the last reactions even if ambapo reaction za amine zinakuwa zina zinaenda reaction za amine zinakuwa zinaenda so from there eh, tunaenda katika general physical physical properties of amine physical properties of amine katika eh, physical properties of amine hapo kwanza kwenye physical state color and order They have high uh, mm, low aliphatic amine kuanzia kaboni ya kwanza hadi ya tatu uh, gases and the intermediate member 
hadi carbon ya nane alikuji kwa hili high member they are solid under ordinary temperature and pressure hali ili ama in their liquid having an pleasant smell an pleasant smell so lower alphatic ama in smell like ammonia but higher ama in a liquid with a fishy odor harf kama ya samaki hiyo haya ama in kama inavunuka shombo ya samaki pure ama in acaralis but they develop color on long standing aromatic ama in they are generally toxic in terms of solubility ama is they are soluble in water because of their ability to form hydrogen bonds with water the solubility of ama in in water however decreases with an increase in the molecular weight ama in containing six or more carbon atoms are almost insoluble in water Alili amine are insoluble in water this is due to the large hydrocarbon part in the molecule due to the hydrophobic character of the hydrocarbon part the alili amine molecule do not form hydrogen bond with water both alkali amine and alili amine are soluble in organic solvents such as benzene ether alcohol etc regarding the boiling point of amines they are able to form hydrogen bonds so they have high boiling points uh, amines have a uh, boiling points higher than the uh, than the uh, hydrocarbon but lower than alcohol and carboxylic acid the boiling points of isomeric amine for the following order the primary amine they have high boiling point as compared to the secondary rotation reason the primary amine have highest tendency to form hydrogen bonds compared to the secondary rotation amine but secondary amine form one hydrogen bond while tertiary amine form tertiary amine has no ability to form hydrogen bonds and therefore low boiling point note in amines hydrogen bonding is through nitrogen atom while in alcohol and carboxylic acid hydrogen bonding is through oxygen atom so nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen and as a result hydrogen bonding in amine is weaker than that in than that in uh, alcohols is weaker or is stronger okay nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen is that true oxygen group 6 yeah okay nitrogen group 5 is less electronegative so the hydrogen bond in in in, in amine is less is weaker than that in alcohol and the carboxylic acid of the same comparable molecular mass so amine have relatively higher boiling points compared to the um, molecules molecular mass which caused the increase in strength of van der Waals forces or intermolecular forces of attraction within the molecule In the coming session we discuss about the chemical properties of amine na tukonamaliza amine tunaenda kwenye grupu nyingine ya organic compound thank you